Harvey Gunsmith back again for another exciting episode. This time I'm going to show you how to drill the bolt holes uh, so that they come out perfectly on both sides. Uh, you can use the same procedure for doing your tang bolt. Not terribly difficult and if you have a drill press it makes it even easier. So hang on and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, the first thing we want to do uh, before we uh, set in the side plate is find out where the ramrod channel actually goes through under here so we make sure the bolt doesn't go through the channel causing problems with the ramrod. And the way we figure out where the depth is, uh, some of these pre-shapes you'll see have a small hole back here uh, where somebody's already checked it when they were running the stock. But basically it's just drill a hole, I use 564, drill down until you feel it pop through and hit the bottom of the ramrod channel. Stop. Okay, don't go out the bottom of the gun. Next thing you do is take a piece of wire, 16th inch, set it in there till it hits the bottom of the ramrod channel in there, and then look across the level here. You want to look across and what I'll do is I'll put my thumbnail right where the two sides meet and that gives me the depth. Then I can hold that up against the side and mark the stock where the bottom of the ramrod channel is and if your channel is 3 eighths of an inch measure above that 3 eighths of an inch and you got the top of your ramrod channel and that's the lowest that you should put your bolt in there. Now if you're using a 5 16 or a tapered rod, you know, same thing applies. Make sure you got enough distance. So once you've figured out exactly where that is and you know it's okay to put your hole in right above that, you drill the holes for the plate. And I've adjusted these two holes so that they'll line up with the plate that I'm going to be using. And all I did was lay this plate on top, making sure I was forward of the main, main spring here, and I was behind the breech plug here. Now this hole will go through the web of the breech plug, but that's fine. You don't worry about that. As long as you're not into the breech of the barrel itself, you're okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we measure... Well, I'm going to put the barrel back in make this a little bit easier. And I'll just set the barrel in. And you probably would notice that this gun's left-handed. I have not reversed the film for this. This is the left-handed gun I'm building up. That will be available in the white on my website once it's all finished out. Alright, got the barrel in. What I'm going to do next, let me turn this a little bit so you can see it better. As I use the depth gauge from the top, making sure it's level with the top flat of the barrel, and I measure down to the center of the hole. And then I reverse and measure down on the other side so I can mark where the depth is for the ramrod on the other side, or the, where the bolt hole goes through, I'm sorry. So, once again, making sure it's flat, I'll measure that down, put a mark there, so that's how far I want it down, and you have to make sure that you've got it lined up perpendicular across. Seems like a lot, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to lay a straight edge across here and I've got it eyeballed it center on the hole on this side and I'll center it on that side so now I've got where I want the hole to be okay and I will put a starting hole there Don't have to go too deep. And from there, lay the side plate on. 
and now I know where the front bolt will go distance wise this way but I still want to measure from top to bottom where that bolt hole needs to be and again use the depth gauge on the other side you can actually use it this way put it back over and I'll measure down down this way and now I know where I want that hole to be so I'll center this up and I can mark where that front hole is going to be and I can drill a little bit of hole there too Just a starting hole. Now, I'll show you how we drill these all the way through. And I've done this often enough that what I can do is I can use some sort of center punch or something on this side put my drill on the other side and looking down at a 45 degree angle I can actually guide to the point on this side and drill through. Now I'll usually go halfway one way turn it around and go halfway back the other way but if you're not careful of course you know you'll get all cattywampus and the hole will go off center. So I'll show you another trick for drilling this if you've got a drill press and it'll be a lot quicker, easier, and it'll go in straight. So hang on a second, let me uh, set this up for you. Alright, so what I've got is I've got my drill bit set in here. It's a block of wood with a pin in it. It's uh, about the size of the pilot hole I drilled in the wood. And you can see I've got them set up so it's point to point. Everything's locked down nice and tight. And since I've got the holes in the plate where I want them, and I've got the spotted holes on the other side, I'll just simply line that pin up on the hole, and then drill down from this side. And then flip it around, and finish drilling from the other side. goes all the way through directly in line. You do the same thing on the back side. When you're drilling this way though, you're going to be going through the bolster probably. Uh, or if you feel it hit the bolster and you know you're not going to go completely through it, but you might nick the back edge of it, take the barrel out and finish drilling because otherwise that bolster on the back of the breech plug there might throw your bit off a little bit. Then you can go back and file the rear of the, bar of the breech plug with a U-shaped notch to clear for the bolt that goes through. And once you got both of the holes drilled all the way through, you can go back and drill out to the final size you need for clearance of the bolts. These I've already drilled to the size I need for the taps, and I'm using 832s which is a 964th bit, then I'll use, I think, an 1164th for the clearance holes. So I'll show you how I'll do that in just a second here. Let me get set up again. Alright, so to drill your clearance holes, first thing you got to do is get your plate out the way. I drill from this side so I know that the hole I drill will be in line with the hole that's already there. And 
just for the fun of it, I'll put a center on the other side, as I mentioned earlier, and drill towards it. If you just have a light grip on your drill, it'll follow the hole that's already there, and simply enlarge it. Now this one back here is going to go through the bolster of the plug. Check my holes again to make sure everything came out right. We drop a bolt down here, then drop a bolt down the other one. Everything should line up, which this one's a little bit off. take care of. Now those bolts will line up with the holes in the plate. So that's pretty much it. Not terribly difficult again. Just a little trick. Nice and tight. Now I'll simply put the plate in place and run my taps from this side down into the plate. That way it makes sure everything's lined up properly. So there's the side plate all set in place. Um, the holes have been drilled, uh, tapped into the plate, and I've got it locked down. Now all I've got to do is scribe around this and start inletting it into the wood. Alright, as you probably saw, it wasn't terribly difficult if you've got a drill press and set it up like I did with a point-to-point -point drill point. Um, the holes go exactly where you want them to be. Uh, drill first with an undersized bit, uh, eighth inch is fine if you want, or go ahead with a 964, which is the uh, tap size drill bit I use for the 832s. Uh, then take the plate out and drill again with a 1164, and it gives you a clearance for the bolt rolling through. Then simply tap from the lock from the uh, side plate side through the lock and thread everything together and then you're ready to start inletting. Alright, so until next time, y'all take care.